What's up guys, we're Kills and welcome back to another deck profile. So we got the updated IRL Infernal deck profile post Clash Rebellions and this is my current list. I just recently took it to a uh, tournament. We did four rounds of Swiss and I 2 0 everybody I played except for the final round where I played against the Kras, uh and lost 2 0, which was very disappointing and frustrating since I always. That guy is like one of the toughest matchups I usually have, and it can either go either way. Um, but he just ripped him on you the one game and spelled disaster. Um, round one, I think I played against, so well, I'll give you kind of a mini term report. Round one, I played against uh, Chronomaly. It was kind of a tough matchup, but I won still 2 0. Uh, round two was Plants. Really, really quick 2 0. Round three, it was um, Clown Blade. That was kind of tough. And then round four, I played against Nikraz and lost 2 0. But still kind of proud of that. that it was victories, but um, we'll go ahead and jump into the main deck starting with the monsters. Alright, guys, so for monsters, starting off, we played two Infernoid Anuku, uh, main boss monster of the deck. Blows up all monsters when he hits the field. Uh, two Deviati. Blows up all spell and traps when he hits the field. Negates monster effects. Negates spells and trap effects. I've seen some people play one or two. Some people play two Deviati and one Anuku, or vice versa, or just one of each. I like two because having the option to go into it is really nice, and also it's what you need to make Tierra. Um, also, you can send it with Decatron and just have a, one of these sitting on field and just going to your opponent. Your opponent going to their next turn has to deal with a, a monster negation or spell and trap negation based on whatever they're, whatever they're playing. So, yeah, it kind of gives them a roadblock to get over. Uh, next three, Tunnel, since the beginning of play three, sticking with it. Same thing with three Sightsimus, three Petrulia, three Harmatic, two Harmatic, or no, two Entra, not Harmatic. Um, I had three, I just traded one off to my friend because he's trying to play the deck and he only had one, so now we will have two. So yeah, two Entra, this would be three. Uh, two Permes. Target for a one for one that isn't Decatron and uh, also very very good against back row heavy decks and stuff like Shadal, especially since you can just keep shuffling their set cards back into their deck. Uh, so that's it for the Infernoids and then for the normal summons I'm playing one Red Eyes Archween of Lightning. This card is so so good because uh, it's, it's treated as a normal monster while it's on the field and then like if you hit this off of Reasoning, obviously you don't normal summon yet. I mean you may have, but you hit this off a of reason, let's say you haven't normal summoned yet, you uh, summon out a bunch of other Infernoids, like two Atondals, or maybe you have a Void Dream, and then you Gemini summon this, and then you use its effect, uh, which is one turn you can destroy all face-up monsters, your opponent controls with defense lower than this card's attack. So it's got 2,500 attack. So it's going to blow up a lot of stuff. And uh, this card is so, so good. Um, I, loved, I loved this thing at the tournament. <laughs> it was just so, so good. Uh, next one, two card trooper. Day one card, I love this card, so good in here, and two Decatron. I was playing three and just recently cut it to two to play the Archfiend card, which is really awesome. So yeah, that's it for the monster lineup, solid, solid monster lineup, love it. We'll go into the spells and tri uh, the spells next. Alright guys, for the spells, starting off with, of course, triple reasoning, a must, a must at three. Um, and then I'm playing two Void Imagination, two Vanishment. Two Seer, one Monster Gate, one One for One, one Ragaki, one Burial, one Magical Stone Excavation, and one Galaxy Cyclone. I cut this and a second uh, Red Eyes Archfiend of Lightning, I think it was called. I'm not really sure. I forget its name, <laughs> even though I just looked at it. Uh, for They'll get it down to 40 cards, because it was at 42. I was playing two of these and two of the Red Eyes card. Um, so I just cut them both down to one because back row hasn't been too much of a problem for me lately and I never resolve two in a game usually. It's just one. Magical Stone Excavation is huge, especially when you can grab back a Monster Gate or Reasoning and all your power cards, which are usually spells and since they don't play any traps. Um, or you can use it to grab back a Cyclone to hit a set card or, you know, just grab a Burial, a Regeki, a one for one, a Monster Gate, a Reasoning, uh, an Imagination. Because you're going to mill a lot of your stuff, so this helps get it back. And I believe somebody suggested this a while back and said I'd give it a try. And I did give it a try, and I really liked it, especially since I uh, got to use Monster Gate twice in a turn, thanks to this thing. 
so yeah that's pretty awesome um, yeah now we'll go into the extra deck that was a 40 card main deck no traps all those spells um, yeah pretty solid main deck love it uh, I think I'll be sticking with it for a while unless I find some other stuff to play in it for now but this has been it the main deck we'll jump into the extra for the extra deck we're playing three copies of Tierra uh, you're not gonna really summon three in a game I usually just summon the ulti one and then use this effect to send the two ultras to the grave um, and then one other random thing from the extra deck that I'm not gonna get to summon uh, so yeah three Tierra you're not really gonna find a summon three you're just using one to send the other two so you have more uh, informate fodder uh, one Felgrand, one Draco, one Big Eye. Uh, your most important rank for Gem Knight Pearl, Abyss Dwellers, uh, and then you got your Rhapsody. And then rank three, Zen Mains, I'd rather this be a Dante. So just picture this as a Dante. Um, that's it for the Xyz and Fusions, and then the Synchros. One Star Raider, I wish I had a Trish, but I don't. Uh, Black Rose Dragon, Clearwing, Scrap Dragon, or Scrap Archfiend, and Gaia Knight. You're these are your two most important synchros right here, your most relevant ones you're going to make. Uh, and then you got Black Rose and Staria, which are kind of cool. So that's it for the extra deck. We'll jump into the side deck. Alright guys, so my extra deck hasn't, or my side deck hasn't changed too much since I've uh, put it together. Double Chaos Hunter, still really good against Necroz. Double Jinzo, great against back Robbie decks. Double Dark Hole, um, never used to end up siding this, I don't know what I'd change these maybe Lancia's or something because uh, I feel like Lancia would be a lot better than Dark Hole. I have never really had the need to uh, side in Dark Holes. Uh, I don't know what I'd side it against honestly. Uh, two MST, two Cyclone, took one out of the main put in this side uh, and then traps I'm siding a triple breakthrough and double mind crush. So the only thing I'd want to change out of this is probably uh, I'd probably take these out for a double mistake and arrest if I could get some. They're like 20 bucks a copy right now, where I'm at. But yeah, that's it for the side deck. And now we'll wrap it up. But yeah, that's going to wrap up this Inferno deck profile post Clash Rebellion with all the new support. Um, yeah, that's it. But like I said earlier in the video, this card right here, Red Eyes, Archery of Lightning, gotta try it. This card is so good and it looks really cool too. I've seen some other builds that play the uh, redstone just to search this, and also the redstone is a one for one target, so you can add a, any red eyes card, I'm pretty sure, from your deck, or special summon from your deck, so really, really cool combos. I just gotta get my hands on a redstone. I did pull it in my unboxing video, but I, I sold it to a friend because he wants to play red eyes. I kind of regret that now because there's some cool stuff you could do with it, like uh, the redstone and the one for one combo because then you have targets for this. And then you can get this, which is treat as a normal summon mon or treat as a normal monster when it's on the field, and that's the most important part. And then you just Gemini and blow up your opponent's field, and then you OTK them. But yeah, uh, I was playing two, but I just kind of stuck to it. I'm keeping it at one for now until I really be like, okay, I need two of these things. It's that good. But one's good for now because you definitely want to hit it off a reason you don't want to open it because that'll get you the most bang for your buck, literally. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments. Please leave them down in the comment section below and your suggestions, ideas, criticism. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't. Your support is greatly appreciated here, guys. I cannot stress that enough. Thank you guys so much for your continued support and all these deck profiles. Cannot thank you enough. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Winter Kills, signing out.